Hello, all my subscribers. This is Mo Chat, and this is another Mo's Opinion Time. And today we are going to get serious. So let's talk about to vote or not to vote. Now, I know a lot of people say voting is our American right and we should all do that. We should all do our American duty and that's to vote. We have the right to vote on issues, to vote on a presidential candidate, to vote on senators and all of that and representatives, everything. Okay, but what do you do when it comes to the issue of you don't know who to vote for anymore? So what do you do? So my talk today is to vote or not to vote. I am having some serious conflicting issues about who to vote for because when they all first started doing all of the um, <clears throat> all of the promotions for you know these are your candidates and they started out with so many of them and then we looked at the Democratic Party and there was three three people that they chose out now it could have been my mistake because I did watch it on CNN a lot of stuff on CNN about you know the debates and everything and on Fox News and all that and maybe there was more on other channels and I didn't see it but in the Democratic Party there was three choices three I was like okay what's happening to the Democratic Party and then I started listening to everything that Hillary had to say and people chomping her up and spitting her out because she's done so many things that lots and lots of people just simply do not agree with okay I mean seriously if you if you think about it the Benghazi attack the so many things when she was with her husband Bill Clinton which they're still married but you know what I'm saying all those years that he was in office and something that really causes me to have a conflict with her is the fact that her husband was president for eight years so and now she wants to be president okay you know I realize that they are two different people but they're married they are married and I'm I'm really having a, a conflict with the fact that she wants to be president and her husband has already been president for eight years so I'm really thinking about the influence that he would have on her being married to her and being in the White House. I mean, that, it just doesn't wash with me. I just don't think it, I don't think it's a good thing. I just really don't. Because we've already had years of the Bush administration, okay? We've already had eight years of Clinton. We've already had... She's been eight years Secretary of State with Obama, okay? So we have had Bush and Clintons in there forever and ever. Hello? Isn't it about time we get away from that? Okay, so here comes the next conflict is Bernie Sanders. Oh, my gosh. Everyone is talking about Bernie Sanders. Okay. Well, he wants to help everybody, and he wants to give everybody free this and free that, and I don't know. How can our United States run if everything is free? If you give everybody everything, then how's it going to run? The whole money issue keeps popping up, big red flags everywhere, money this, money that. You know, if, you, if you're going to give everything to everybody free, then who's going to pay for it? Now, that's a little bit scary. Okay, then your next conflict. Okay, we've got Donald Trump. Now, I'm not saying that I completely agree with everything that Donald Trump says. I, I don't want to say that because I really don't. There's a lot of things that he says that really kind of gets me. Or it makes me stop and think, did he really say that? It's like... Oh my goodness, I, I don't know. And I have to go back and watch his videos like two or three times 
to sometimes pick out those parts that I'm thinking, okay, maybe he didn't mean mean it to sound that way, but it did. To me, it sounded that way. So there's a lot of things about Trump that I am not really getting into. <clears throat> now, to vote or not to vote, okay, I am seriously, for the first time in a long, long many years, thinking about not voting at all because I just don't trust these people, okay? I, I'm not sure I trust Hillary Clinton. I I would love to have a woman as president. I mean, what woman wouldn't, right? I mean, we would all like to see that happen. That would be great. But to have a woman president just because she's a woman does not seem very smart to me. I mean, if you go and vote for Hillary just because she's a woman, are you using your brain? I mean, seriously. When I go vote for somebody, I want to vote for them because I believe that they care about the American people. That's one. They will uphold the laws and, the, and our Bill of Rights. That's two. They will not infringe upon the American citizens' freedoms, okay? There are so many things that our government is doing that's blocking our lives every which way we turn. They're making all kinds of things illegal. You can't do a lot of things that we used to be able to do all the time. Taxes are higher and higher all the time. And if I'm going to vote for someone, I want someone who is going to take care of the American people by not infringing on us as a society and not looking into our lives so, so much that we feel like we're being spied upon by our own government. And that's happening everywhere. These are important issues to the American society. We want our freedoms. We want a president who does his job but doesn't put his nose into everything that we do, okay? It just seems to me that neither of the candidates that everyone is talking about these days, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, neither one of them really get the point, okay? Donald Trump is wanting to expand all the um, knowledge collecting. Well, that's a good idea when it comes to terrorists. But what if it comes down to watching every American citizen all the time? I mean, they ought to make a list that says you're not allowed to um, spy on this person. That's the list they ought to have because I believe with all my heart there are more Americans that are good Americans than there are bad Americans. Okay, you have to believe that. In order to have hope for the American society, you've got to believe that the balance of good and bad leans toward the good. Okay, so to vote or not to vote. What happens if nobody votes? Has anyone ever considered that? I'd like to see what happened if we just all um, decided to not vote. Now, I don't imagine that has ever happened. I'm not sure it has. If you know anything about that, if you think that's happened before, let me know in the comments. Um, but I'm seriously thinking about not voting because I really don't trust either one of them. I think it's all about them. I think it's all about making themselves look good. I think Hillary Clinton is taking advantage of women voters just because she's a woman and she wants to be the first woman president. Well, a lot of women would like to be the first woman president, but guess what? We don't have millions and millions and millions of daughter dollars donated to us and did you know that she received so much money from foreign countries now there is a conflict about that in the news here lately about is she allowed to receive that much money from companies that are foreign corporations that she's got money from okay there there seems to be a conflict of interest there um, a lot of people are saying that she should not be allowed to get money from them now Donald Trump says he's self-funding well, that's great, but, you know, he really, sometimes he acts like he's bragging. 
And to be honest with you, I think I would rather vote for Trump. <clears throat> but I'm still not sure about how he's going to handle the world. I mean, yeah, he's a businessman. But we're talking about the United States, which is a leader. One of the big nations. You know, everyone looks up to the United States, America. Is Donald Trump going to be able to handle that? Because they're not just looking up to Donald Trump. He has to be the leader of our nation. And I'm really starting to think he might fail at that. I don't think, I just don't think that he's, he's all he's putting up to be. I really don't. Let me know what you think. You don't have to tell me who you're going to vote for, but let me know what you think about the voting process. There's been lots of issues about that in the news lately. So send me your comments. And if you have forgotten to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And share it with all of your friends. And don't miss another Mo's Opinion Time. Thank you.